Hello everybody and welcome to the 19 of my beginner sewing course. I hope you're all well. Today I'm going to teach you how to install bias tape. This is double fold bias tape um, and you use it around curves and hams on shirts or dresses or whatever you want really. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to use it on scrap fabric and I'm going to show you how to do it straight um, on a curve and on a corner. So let's get into it. Okay, so for this video, you're going to need two pieces of scrap fabric, um, one rectangle, and then one with a curve. You're going to need some double fold bias tape and some pins. We're going to start with the um, rectangle and grab our bias tape. And as you can see, it's a double fold because right here there's a fold and then you open it and there's another fold. Um, so what you're going to do is open it up and place the edge of the um, bias with the edge of your fabric. So where your neckline is or wherever you're supposed to put it, like wherever that raw edge is. And basically it's going to, um, sorry, um, sandwich that raw edge between the two. And that's how it's going to be like finished. So let's just pin that in place. And once you get to the corner, don't pin right away. What we're gonna do is take our bias tape and fold it like that in a 90 degree angle. And you want this line to be a continuation of this line. So let's just make sure it is. And that seems pretty straight to me, like that. Now you're still gonna hold it but now fold it back like this. And you want that edge to be a straight line, a continuation of that one. So fold it like that. And now that line should be on that uh, fabric edge right here. And now we're gonna continue pinning. And what we're gonna do now is sew along that folded line right here, all the way here. So you see there's like an X here. So you're gonna sew all the way to that little point right here. So because of that, we're gonna push our fold like this and put a pin here. But once we're done with that, we're gonna finish our stitch here. Then we're gonna move that flap, put it to that side and then continue sewing along that edge right here. So let's take it to the sewing machine. So for this, I'm just using a regular straight stitch and I'm keeping the stitch length, which is 2.5. Now you just wanna make sure that your needle is aligned with that fold right here. Okay, mine is aligned. So just take out your pins slowly. And at the beginning of the seam, you're gonna wanna back stitch and then go on as normal. So that fold gives you a really nice guide. So when you get to that edge, um, make sure that you fully sew until the end, because if you don't, there's gonna be a gap in your tape. So right now, I think I can sew a little more. Let me just, yeah, I think this is pretty good. So now you're gonna backstitch. Perfect. Cut off your thread. And yeah, I'm pretty, pretty much at that edge. Now you're gonna take out this pin and move your flap like this. And now you see that uh, fold right here. There's like uh, a star, I guess. Um, you wanna start exactly here. So just position your needle. I think that's right. So let's just sew and back stitch. And once you get to the end, you back stitch again. And you trim off your thread. 
Now we're also gonna uh, cut off the excess bias tape. So right now, this is what you're left with. So just take a pair of scissors and trim this off. Perfect, get it out of the way. And now you wanna also trim off your threads. Okay, so now for the tricky part, you wanna fold your bias tape over like this. So now the uh, top looks good and the bottom looks good as well. Or like the wrong side and the right side both look good. And once you get to the corner, you'll see it creates a little um, fold like that. So that's good. That's going to help you um, well fold it. And just make sure you use your fingers to really get a nice fold here, like an, a nice corner. That looks nice to me. So now we're just going to want to pin. So I'm going to turn it to the right side and pin. That fold is really thick, so it's hard to pin. All right. Do you see how neat that is? This is what it looks like from the back. So now we're going to sew all around that edge right here, as close as we can to um, that seam right here. And what that's going to do is catch this side right here because i forgot to mention but like uh, a double fold bias tape is longer on the back side so your stitch is going to be right on that line here but when you turn it around it won't be exactly at the edge here it'll be a little closer to the right and that's because this side is longer than that side and it's made like that on purpose <laughs> so let's take it to the sewing machine and yeah just make sure that you stitch as close as possible and this is where you can use a longer stitch length uh, if you want when you uh sew your own you're gonna use like matching uh matching colors so the thread uh the fabric and the bias tape are hopefully gonna be the same color right now i'm just like using different colors obviously to teach you kind of got this clean girl aesthetic going on color palette um, okay, so just lower your needle, make sure you're like directly, not directly on that line, but like as close as you can, right? That's as close as it's gonna get. Back stitch. And now keep stitching as usual. You're gonna wanna go really slow with this to make sure that like you're going super straight because we will be able to see that stitch. Like this seam is going to be visible. Once you get to this corner, you're not, not going to end your stitch and then back stitch. You're just going to move your fabric. So, uh, like this. stitch and trim off your thread and there we go a perfectly sewn bias tape uh, with the corner and on this side you know the corner is a <laughs> ew <laughs> he doesn't look the best don't look at him he's shy okay 
Um, yeah, I mean, if you don't look at the corner, the rest is pretty good. And as you can see, it's not directly on that edge since that side is longer than this side. So now you get what I mean. I should have been more careful with my corner. Um, just try to avoid that on yours, but it's fine. Who cares? It's just practice, isn't it? We're all here just to practice. And now you can just trim off your thread and you're done. So let's do the same thing, but on a curve now. All right, I changed my fabric because um, my curve was kind of ugly. Uh, this is better. So all you're gonna do is grab your bias tape like this and place it how you're gonna want it to be. And then you're gonna need your iron ready, so make sure that's hot. And the important thing here is to press your curve in place before you actually sew it. So let's just do that. I'm gonna leave a little tail at the top. And let me just pin this in place to make it easier. And now we can start ironing. Perfect. And I'm actually gonna clip that part right now. Let's do the same thing with this side. So as you can see, those two curves are reversed. Always make sure that the open edge is um, towards the inside of the garment. So like here, it's on this side and here it's on this side. And let's start pressing. So now I'm going to take this pin out and open up my bias tape so that I can place it on that curve edge. I'm going to start pinning like I did before. All right, now let's just do the exact same here. All right, all done. So now we're just gonna take it to the sewing machine and start sewing. So once again, we're gonna align it with that fold. Okay, that's pretty good. So start sewing and back stitch. Take out your pins and continue. Obviously go slow around those really tight curves and back stitch at the end. Trim off your thread. Okay, this is what it looks like. It hangs nicely with the curve, so that's good. We're just gonna move on to this one now. And start from this side, since my pins are on this side. Back stitch and keep sewing as usual. This is a very tight curve, so I'm going super slow. Now that you're at the end, back stitch, and there we go. Beautiful. Okay, so now we're just going to trim off our threads. That's good. And now, like before, we're just going to fold our bias tape over. Like that. Perfect. 
put it to the right side and now pin let's do the same thing on this side once again i'm going to use extra pins um around that tight curve just make sure it all lays nice and flat all right this thing looks very scary uh what you're gonna do now is just grab your iron and press it just one more time especially around those large curves that's good now um we're gonna sew all around this edge right here and around all around this edge right here as close as possible to that seam and once again it's going to uh, create a line right here and right there and the line here isn't going to be at the edge because that side of the tape is longer than this side so let's do it So now the seam is already pretty flat, but the first thing we're going to do is trim off the thread, uh, as always, and cut this off. Oh my god, my scissors. Horrible. And we're going to give it a good press, a good press one last time. And there we go, that's what it looks like. And this is the other side. Pretty good in my opinion. So there you go. Now you know how to install bias tape. All right, everyone. So we are done with our bias tape. Um, well done. I know it's not always easy to sew uh, from the front and expect like a straight line in the back um, that's fine if it's not perfect just keep practicing right practice makes perfect um, so yeah your homework is just to um, uh, practice with some scrap fabric and you can just buy um, more bias tape at the fabric store mine was 88 cents per meter in Canadian so really really cheap if you want to just keep practicing and yeah that's it I think so I will see you tomorrow